We're getting reports of Decepticon uprisings like this from all along the rim of the galaxy. Sounds like the cons are getting wind that their leader's not as offline as they thought he was. Wonder where they got that idea. That doesn't matter. The point is, we're needed elsewhere. Optimus Prime, prepare your crew for departure in 12 megacycles. Uh, but sir, what about the Decepticons on this planet? Sentinel Prime informs me there are no Decepticons on this planet. Well, with all due respect... You'll get the chance to tell your side of the story in a public inquiry back at Cybertron Command. You mean a court-martial? More like an opportunity to set the record straight. If word gets out that Megatron is still online and the AllSpark is destroyed, it will create panic among our fellow Autobots and embolden the enemy. But the truth is... It's our duty to quash these rumors once and for all. Understood? Yes, sir. Understood. First, I lose my dad, and now you guys? I'm afraid orders are orders. Well, they're stupid orders! Listen up, small human. Autobots are not organic babysitters. The sooner you bunch of bolts learn that, the better. They aren't a bunch of bolts! They're my friends and I need them! Sorry, wait! This isn't easy for her, Bumblebee. Give her time. Unfortunately, time is something you bots don't have. As of now, you're all vital components in the war against the Decepticons. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now that we don't have the All Spark, our space bridge is the one advantage we still have over the cons, and we need you repair grunts to keep them up and running. And Optimus, a little friendly advice. Do what Ultra Magnus wants. You mean lie? Cut the high and mighty routine for once in your life cycle. Look, I have some pull with Cybertron Command. If you keep quiet about Megatron and the All Spark, and take the fall for leading your crew AWOL, I could get you reinstated in the Elite Guard. That sounds a lot like a bribe. Well, call it a favor for not mentioning my little incident with the Headmaster. Yeah, well, unlike you, Sentinel, I don't think saving my own hard drive's more important than protecting the truth. Then you leave me no choice. Optimus Prime, I am placing you in protective custody until our departure from Earth. What? You can't be serious. I'm not gonna have to use the stasis cuffs on you, am I, Optimus? You dare strike me, Megatron? After all my loyal stellar cycles of... Wait, where is everybody? How did I get here? I'm not picking up any Decepticon energy signals. Oh, not even my own. I'm too young to be offline! <sighs> all right, this obviously isn't the well of all sparks, so I can't be that offline. But I am still on this pathetic, primitive planet! I swear from here to Cybertron that I will take you offline for this, Megatron! <laughs> Fascinating. You're standing right in front of me, yet I cannot pick up your energy signature. Now we can move about freely in vehicle mode, and those accursed Autobots won't even know we're there. Impressive work, Professor Sumdak. Your Decepticon signal dampeners function well, but now I have a new project for you. A subspace communicator that will allow me to contact my Decepticon forces at the rim of the galaxy. I am afraid that is impossible. I will decide what is possible. And I won't have Decepticon rebels blowing up space bridges whenever they feel like it. We need a coordinated effort to defeat the Autobots, not random acts of sabotage. But subspace communication would require some form of tachyon energy. No Earth scientist has gotten past the development stage yet. Then it's fortunate we do not have to rely on the feeble achievements of mere humans, isn't it? The Elite Guard possesses a tachyon transmitter aboard their ship. All we have to do is steal it. <sighs> but we're her family. We can't just abandon her. Who's gonna take care of her when we're gone? We need a human we can trust. Absolutely not! Come on, Captain. She's a good kid! You won't even know she's around! 
Why me? You're tops on the list of all the humans we know personally. Although it is kind of a short list. And it does include Prometheus Black and Nanosec. But still, you're number one. Face it, Optimus. This deal is the only way you're ever going to get your career back on track and rid yourself of the stench of those glitch detail losers you've been commanding. What about the stench of the lies you're asking me to tell? No one's asking you to lie! Look, just confirm what our scanners have been telling us all along. There are no Decepticons on Earth. Transmitter. You think I don't know what a tachyon transmitter looks like? Just go! Last one is a rotten engine block! where it belongs. Prepare to face the wrath of... What am I doing down here? And why is my spark chamber empty? Huh? Maybe I really am a ghost. Or maybe something else is keeping me online. A piece of the Allspark. Indestructible, inextinguishable. Which makes little old Starscream immortal. Prepare yourself, Megatron, you puppet scrap heap! For my vengeance will be swift and painful! Fellow Decepticons, take heed. Your leader, Megatron, still lives. Though we remain dispersed throughout the far reaches of the galaxy, exiled from our true home, we are all still Decepticons, united by a common purpose. The time has come for us to put aside our differences and act as one under my undisputed leadership. Only then can we cast off the shackles of Autobot oppression. Working together, we can raise up our glorious empire once more and crush all who stand in our way. I need another approach. 
A way to lure that egotistical trash can out into the open. Catching him off guard! Ah, oh. Another all-spark fragment. Perhaps this might do the trick. Optimus Prime. Sentinel Prime has informed me about your reluctance to cooperate. I strongly urge you to reconsider. Commander, the ship's sensors have detected a major spike in all-spark energy. Probably another one of those fragments. I'll go check it out. Negative. Stay here and keep your optics on Optimus Prime. Jazz and I will report back with our findings. Transform and roll out. Jazz gets all the action, and I'm stuck playing nursemaid to an insubordinate washout. Huh. Our sensors didn't pick up any all-spark energy surges the last time the fragment turned up. Only Sari's key was able to detect it. It's almost as if someone wants us to find this fragment. Run an infrared scan on that cloud bank. Starscream. Sentinel, you have to stop them. They're walking right into a Decepticon ambush. When are you gonna get it through your thick processor? There are no Decepticons on this planet, so keep your audio unit shut or I'll do it for you. I'd like to see you try, you worthless crankshaft. That's it! <laughs> Stasis lock? Well, somebody's got to stop Ultra Magnus from making a deadly mistake. When I get through with you, Optimus, there won't be enough left to salvage for parts! How do you feel about bedtimes? What? Because I'm not real big on them. In fact, I think I should be able to stay up as late as I want. I also need my own phone. Oh, yeah, and we should talk about my allowance, because I'm going to need a big one. This is why I hate kids. Autobots, we need to mobilize immediately. The Elite Guard is walking into a Decepticon trap. Why is this our problem? The Elite Guard has done nothing but bust our solenoids since they got here. Doing what's right is more important than our personal feelings right now. Prime's right. Let's move it! Where are they going? No idea, but I am not gonna let him wreck my city again. The elite guard's not responding to my emergency calls. We'll have to cut across town and head him off. until Megatron arrives to get his greasy little servos on that all-spark fragment. Too bad I rigged it to blow up in his face and destroy half this city with it! The spike in all-spark energy appears to be emanating from that train. It's fortunate we picked up that signal so easily. Perhaps a bit too fortunate. A trap? Laid by the Autobots? Or by another Decepticon? An extremely persistent Decepticon who refuses to stay offline. The Allspark Fragment is going to overload the vehicle's engine. We must remove it before the entire thing explodes. Stay cool, humans! We got it under control! Jazz, stand back! The Autobot Elite Guard, this day just gets better and better. With one blow, I will destroy all my enemies at once! It's no good, Commander. That small spark doesn't want to budge. More Autobots taking the bait? Where is Megatron? Prowl, uncouple the passenger cars and get the humans away from danger. Bumblebee, sorry. Try to use the key to pull out that all-spark fragment. On it! The rest of us will try to slow the engine down.
Sorry, get off! The engine's going to blow! You got it! But we're still gonna crash! Ah! Nothing got blown up. Now there's a first. Commander, the all spike fragment has been safely recovered. What are you doing here, Optimus Prime? Sir, I have reason to believe this was part of a Decepticon trap and felt it was my duty to warn you. Only one problem with that story. Where are the Decepticons? Ah! This day couldn't possibly get any worse! I stand corrected. Stop Sorry, you must have me confused with some other Harrier jet. Optimus Prime, you are under arrest for assaulting an elite guard officer. Add that to the other charges against you, and you can just kiss your career goodbye. Now what do you have to say for yourself? Incoming! What is that thing? Oh, that's right. You've never seen one up close. It's called a Decepticon. No, not again. He's online. Stand back, everyone! <laughs> Commander! At least this won't be a total loss. Magnus is down, and the Decepticon is getting away. What's our next move, Sentinel? Uh, right. Okay, uh... Ratchet, you and Sari take care of Ultra Magnus. Bumblebee, Prowl, Bulkhead, and Fenzone, evacuate the humans from the area. Sentinel and Jazz will take down Starscream. Stand down, Optimus. You've got no right to assume command. Yeah? Well, some bot has to. Hey, how about we sort out the whole head honcho deal later? Right now, we need to stop fighting each other and start fighting the bad guy, dig? Fine. Distracted. How long do you think you can keep this up, Autobot? Long enough for me to do this. Hey, Optimus. Think you could have drawn that one out any longer? You're welcome, Sentinel. Well, Optimus Prime, it appears you were right about the Decepticons. But, sir, that doesn't change the fact that he disobeyed a direct order! That may be, Sentinel Prime, but there are times when following your gut is more important than acting by the book. Wouldn't you agree, Optimus Prime? Given the recent developments, I've decided to let you and your crew remain here on Earth to search for more AllSpark fragments. 
And keep them from falling into the hands of any other Decepticons that may still be left on this planet. I think you may need a few more stasis cups for the job. You guys are staying on Earth? How great is that? Don't worry, Captain Fanzone. We can still hang out. Yeah, I'll clear my calendar. Send out a transmission to our double agent on Cybertron. Tell him that communication with our rebel forces has been restored, and the Autobot space bridge technology is within my grasp. The uprisings on the edge of the galaxy will continue to draw the Autobot forces away from Cybertron, leaving it virtually defenseless. And once my space bridge is operational, I will conquer a weakened Cybertron from within.